Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everyone? Darcizzle and Puddin here. Darcy and Brian, <laughs> whatever you want to call us. Yeah, make, first off, make sure we, you can see and hear us. Yes. Tell me in the chat. Comments. You can hear us, see us. What's Comments. up? What's up, everyone? Hope you guys you get are- that square on your face again. Oh, no. Oh, my Lord. That's terrible. Oh, I'm not moving right now. Crap. It's not showing up down here. All maybe, right. Maybe it's just showing up for us. You can see and can you hear us? You can hear us good. Thank you very much. What's up, Rahul McKenzie? You can't see the square. Okay, good. Good. I didn't. I didn't. Woo. I wasn't sure you could or not. Yeah. I'm very hot right now. <laughs> Dar- <laughs> where, where you been, Darcizzle? I've been chatting with all our fans. Woo. Yes, Brian has been chatting, and I've been doing good stuff around here, working and getting ready for fishing tomorrow, which is videos that you guys are going to watch. So you know, I, I do that stuff and get food and get the fishing gear ready and all that good stuff and when we're done with this live stream we got to hook the boat up to the truck and get ready to go fishing <laughs> so my favorite part yes and it's been freaking so windy down here lately the last two three four days and before that we went sword fishing and didn't have a ton of luck so tomorrow i'm excited to go fishing and you know create more awesome adventures for you guys to watch but we are going to do a q a correct yeah, we're going to answer whatever question you guys have. You know, we, we might start doing these live streams more often or start doing live streams. We haven't done them in years. And we're trying to get these questions as fast as we can. Um, I haven't seen many questions yet. Is the storm over? Yeah, storm left a long time ago. Yeah, it was just like a cold front, like a low pressure system that moved through. So it was not really a storm. Oh, maybe that tropical storm that was forming over us two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, it's been past. It's all, yeah, just minor rain and a lot of wind. Nothing uh, crazy. Carl's got a question. Carl yeah. says, uh, if you only make one or two offshore trips each year out of South Florida, when and where would you go? When and where would you go? And what species of fish would you go after? Yeah. I would do <laughs> 22 trips offshore leaving out South Florida. So I would do definitely wahoo fishing. She and loves wahoo fishing. That, this is the time of year <laughs> for it. August and September is really when they're supposed to move through thick. So I would do one trip, high-speed wahoo trolling or just regular trolling for them. Depends on what I'm feeling. And then a second trip will be going out for Mahi Mahi during the month of May to look for the big bull dolphins. That would be my two things, I think. All right, good for you. And yeah. someone asked what your biggest dolphin is. We haven't caught that many big dolphins, unfortunately. No. Probably that one from our May 20th video. It's like 20 pounds or yeah, something. Yeah, about 20 is our biggest on our boat. Um, we did catch a 30 like six years ago, but I don't count that. Someone asked the promo code for Black Pearl Cast Nets. Good question. Yes. I'm going to show you all of our codes. Yes. I made a thing. Brian is very smart over here, working hard. We have codes oh, of all on. of our, promo codes of all of our uh, Kaboom! Who's, they can't read it. Get your head out of the way. <laughs> Darcizzle 10 is the uh, code for that. Awesome. So those are the codes. If you have any questions. Typical knot, we use the join line. We usually use... <laughs> On the, on the ones with big guides, like saltwater rods, we use a uni to uni knot. And on the bass rods, I like we like to use, what's the other thing called? Bass FG, rod? the FG. FG knot, yeah. I yeah. use FG knot quite a bit. And then you said, when does crab season, when does crab season Crabfish. start? And how many crabs claws are you allowed to take? Well, I'm not sure what you're talking, I guess he's talking about stone crabs. Because yeah. we do have blue crabs down here as well. Right, we uh, stone crab. But we stone crab, stone crab season starts October 15th. And we just got more traps. We're getting ready to build them. We're going to put 10 traps in the water, five per person. And whatever is in your trap, and it's a legal, like it's a legal size claw, you're allowed to keep it. So whether it's one or 20 or 50 in the Florida Keys, they get quite a bit. Um, they'll get, I don't know, easy 50 in their traps that are keepers. So as many as you can keep per five traps is what you're allowed. There's no, there's no regulation as how many you can take in your boat. Right now, and we so. have you know we have a ton of video. You guys want to Google those up? You know, you can just Google the sizzle stone crabs, and as a lot of things, Darcy's like the first one doing that, and so we have all we have it from A to Z. So check that out if you like. Yeah, our biggest wahoo is about thirty pounds on our boat, and a lot of you guys I see you're asking like uh, if I'm fly fishing for bonefish. A lot of this stuff we have already done, and we hope to do it in the near future again. But if you're interested in seeing a particular video, I'm more than likely have created it. So if you just type. There's Star Sizzle Bonefish on YouTube. You, that all those videos will pop up. I did some amazing bone fishing in Andros Bahamas, fly fishing for them, 
And we also did, what else did I see? Have you ever caught a swordfish? That's one fish I don't have a video on. <laughs> is a swordfish. We've been like six trips. We just went on More Saturday. We went the last two More Saturdays. I think we've done a total of 10 in the last couple years, and we have yet to catch swordfish that I'm dying to. Um, I have caught some stripers as well. So just typed our sizzle stripers, and that will pop right. up too. And we did that in Montauk. That was awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's just mainly, for me, saltwater fish, marlin, and swordfish I have not caught. So I, there, I'm getting a plenty with the mics. You, I'm going to turn, did you, turn them I down did not a little. touch the mics. Let us know if that is a little can better, guys. Down? Yes, I can. On the comments. Um, yeah, again, I'm seeing a couple, a lot of questions about any Scarlet. sort of Florida fish. Um, you know, just Google the sizzle and that fish, and it, it, it's there, okay? Everything except the swordfish. Yeah. Um, so that's that. Can you scroll down? So yes, yeah, sorry. All the way. All right, so when does a mullet run usually start? The mullet run has begun. Um, like two weeks ago, a bunch of mullet are moving down, big pods of mullet. We were in Stewart last week. We caught a bunch of little fingers, all different sizes. So it has started, but really the big schools, like moving off the beach, we just had a big cold front push through that's going to start with some north winds, so should get the mullet moving. Um, so it should happen here, you know, get real thick real soon. And it just depends every year. The mullet run changes year to year. Sometimes it's early, sometimes it's late. The last couple of years in a row, we had hurricanes and storm systems push through, so we kind of, that kind of ruined our mullet run. But I'm excited because it started about two weeks ago. So get ready for mullet run action videos. Boop, boop. All right, it's, mics are tuned up too high. I know. I, I turned. I just turned them down. The mic's sounding a little better. Please let us know. Yeah. So there's a bunch of videos we want to do. So that's why we're here as well. If you guys have any awesome ideas for videos, and uh, I see something about blue crabs, we are looking to do blue crab videos as well. I just got a couple blue crab traps, and I'm looking to get some more. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing that this year too. All right. Give to a shout it. out to these two guys here. What's up? Who? David. Hey, uh, David. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. What's up, David? South Florida Fishing Channel. Awesome. Thank you so much, Larry. That's really appreciated. Yes. Thanks, La Larry. Just I wish you us had up. a question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Larry. Definitely Larry's hooked it. us up with a little super chat. Thank 15 you. 15 bucks. Thank you so much, Any bro. little bit helps. You have no idea how much it costs to, to, to run two boats all the time. There's always something broken. <laughs> thanks, <Always>. Glenn. <laughs> thanks, Scott. Yes. Uh, again, Alan, we do have smoked mullet videos. We're going to yes. do that again. But again, Dar Sizzle smoked mullet. You're yep. going to find it. It was excellent. We did it last year. Smoked mullet. Delicious. And with the mullet run here, we're going to do that video again. How Jake, are you yes. Brian? <laughs> Jake, we got, again, just Google the <laughs> Google the video. Yes. The sizzle and the fish. Yes. It's all there, guys. We have caught redfish. We've caught all saltwater fish, basically, except marlin and swordfish. <laughs> Some guy, has uh, ever done a selfish catch clean cook? We have not done a no, sailfish catch clean cook I want again. To. We do have a ton of sailfish videos. Yes, caught plenty of sailfish. Snook Nook, your favorite tackle store here. Well, <laughs> Snook Nook is a, is a great, you know, local company that's been around for years, and all the local fishermen in Stewart go there, and we go there too. We really like them. They're really nice, and it, it's a great – if you're in the area of Stewart, head over to Snook Nook and ask those guys for fishing tips. And I learned an awesome fishing tip earlier this year, and it worked for me. So those guys are great. Um, but we live in Boynton Beach. We don't live in Stewart. <laughs> We're about an hour south right. of Stewart. So we travel to Stewart to fish quite a bit with both of our boats. Yeah. Um. Um, shark fish. Yes, we've done plenty of shark fishing videos. Just type our sizzle shark. All those will pop up over the years. We've caught monster sharks, bull sharks. So oh, we had an epic tiger, sh tiger shark show up in one of our videos when he had the drone up. Um, black tip shark catch clean cook. We've done it all. We've, we've done quite a bit of shark fishing. Right. James asks, what fish are biting in November from a kayak? You know, oh, you man. Know, like people always ask. This is a, you know, this Everything. is a, right. I mean, this is a, this is a, a year-round fishery. Yes. Okay, just some fish bite more, sometimes more than others, and it just has to do with the weather. You can catch sailfish all year round. You can catch wahoo all year round, mahi all year round. It just sometimes the conditions are better for certain fish than others, and that just goes on like a weekly to weekly, Yeah. you know, maybe a monthly basis, but, yeah. you know, they're catching all that stuff anytime. And for the kayak guides, if you want to follow somebody, you can follow Brian, Captain Brian Nelly, Pushing yep. Waters, Kayak charters, he is the best kayak guy in the period, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And again, yes, Darcy has videos with him catching sailfish. Yes. And as far as November, yeah, like everything bites. I mean, yeah, you I mean, can go to Lake just, Ida and go catch peacock bass and yeah. cow knife fish, and you can go in the saltwater and catch tarpon, snook, jack crabels, trout, redfish, you name it. Like, there's going to be fish chewing. You just need to put a little bit of time in on the water when you first get to a new area and kind of figure out what's going on with the fish and the bait and all that good stuff. 
Um, I was going to Jeffrey, he mentioned our boat cover discount. We do have a boat cover discount link. If you just, again, if you just Google, yes. uh, Darcizzle boat cover, I think this, we have two videos. Yes. One of them is like the best boat cover video in the world. And it is, um, and you can just, uh, click the link the in code the description. Is in there. The code is in the description. Yeah. It's a link. It's not a code. Right. You have to click that specific link to get the discount. Yes. Uh, a couple people have asked if we can do a collab with Dare Me for Dinner. Yes, we'd love to. Love I, we to. have high respect for, for Robert. He's awesome. And we love to fish with him or hunt with him or hang out with him, but he will not fish with us. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Yeah. We're up. We're, is, we're ready to go. It is what it is, y'all. It is what we, it is, y'all. We've sent emails and tried to contact. And, and it's, nothing personal? He doesn't need us for his business model or doesn't want to hang out with us? And that's that's fine. That's his personal decision? Yeah. Again, totally we fine. think he's him and his channel and his nice family are just wonderful. Yes. So that's that. It is what it is, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I like Putin's to say real name is Brian. Yes. <clears throat> uh, the, 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 the furthest it's we've been offshore oh is man, been, yeah. We, you know, no, we go to Louisiana, Louisiana. like a hundred miles, hundred miles offshore, easy, easy. Uh, the, 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 What's Putin's real Darryl name? Daryl White. Yes, we have a fish for Goliath again. Yes, we actually tried a month ago, and even we couldn't get a Goliath to bite. That's how bad it was. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> terrible. <laughs> how many pushes on the range button does it take to light up a light bulb? Bob, he's trying to be funny. <laughs> for me, it takes a lot for Darcy. Bob just one. is an awesome Patreon. Yes, you did not thanks, have to Bob. donate again, Bob. Yes, You're so Bob. sweet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's awesome. <laughs> Blue Gabe, Blue Gabe. Yeah, we have uh, reached out to Blue Gabe as well. We'll see if we can do yeah, a video with him. Yeah, Blue Gabe. He actually called me. It was really nice of him. Um, and then we talked about doing something, but I guess it just didn't happen. Not yet. So, that's that. Yeah. Not yet. Uh, you guys... Fish bites. Fish bites are awesome. Oh, yeah. We, again, we have videos. We slay fish on fish uh, bites. Um, for the Pompano and Croker videos, if you Google that, we even draw sizzle fish bites, I'm sure it'll come up. Yes. And stay tuned. We do have a cookbook in the works. We'll hopefully have that out by the holidays to purchase. So stay tuned for that. Yes, cooking with pudding cookbook. Yes, Darcy has coming not out. edited it yet. Coming out. Or read it, so that's the coming problem out. with that. <laughs> uh, JD, about diving and spear gunning. We haven't done enough. Darcy does have it. Google it. Yes. We are not charter guides, by the way, y'all. I know a lot of we get this question every single day on yeah. all of our platforms about fishing with us. We're not licensed charter captains. And, you know, the focus of our channel is to follow our dreams and, right. and go fishing ourselves because we do like to fish. But we're not really, our business model is not focused on charter fishing. Right. I'm sorry. Like, we're just, that's not who we are. Um, right. When so Darcy dumps me, that's what I'll be doing on my own solo. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you put in a description in this live stream I with did. all of it's, our links? Uh, I don't think it has any links. Oh, okay. Darn. I should have did the description. Uh, all the good <laughs> stuff is in there. Every other video on the channel has it. It will be after uh, this is over. But anyhow, so if you do want to fish with us, occasionally we do a giveaway, like maybe once a year on fishing with us, but also on patreon.com, which is just a, a, a funding platform where you get to like have a close relationship with us. One of our giveaways there is you do get to fish with us on a certain tier level. Um, so you would have to go check that out. Someone asked for a hoodie, like puddings. Can you type the, the, the Patreon description in there? Oh yeah, I will. I just want to mention that all Darcy's gear is right here in the, in the, mer in the merchandise. See all the bracelets we make, she makes. Yes. Bracelets. The necklaces. I don't have a necklace on, but Darcy yeah, does. I got a Smith necklace on right now. So we'd now. love for you guys to check that stuff yeah. out today. And, uh, yeah. It's DarcyZLoveShore.com shop. Oh, can I go get that shirt really quick? Go get the shirt really quick. I'll try and answer questions. Thank you very much, Bruce. Uh, we really appreciate it. We're a real pair. Uh, thank you so much. Darcy. Uh, Darcy's a, a 15 and I'm a 2 and we average out to a very high number. It's great. Uh, we have fished out of the Gulf of Mexico many, many times. Uh, da, 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 da. We would love to go to the West Coast. We just haven't yet. Right. The monetary thing. My diet is going great. It's right. going awesome. All right. Hold on. All right. So this hoodie is currently for sale on the website. You see this hoodie on the front? This is exactly what Pudding wears on the boat. I know. I was showing them the hoodie. Oh, okay. And that's the front. UPF performance long sleeve shirt. Exactly the one Pudding wears in the videos. And then on the back. Yeah. It's got that. Oh, so Freddie's saying he wants a dolphin on the sleeve. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you please type our links in there? Okay. So can, for, for what? For what? For our website. Okay, website. It starts with offshore I'm shop. Trouble. Forward slash slash. No, the full link so they can click it. W -w -w. Oh, you don't have to do that, do you? Yes. We're going to try it like that. this. Is that click it? it? No. Oh, all right. W -w -w. 
Tiger right there. He's right there. There you go. Cricket. Stan uh, Stanley could be doing this right now. Who's that? It's one of the moderators. Oh. <laughs> we also need Patreon link in there too. Patreon link. All right, I'll so that, that link Brian just put in there is for the hooded shirts. So go check that out as well, well look, as I even put it on the website. Watch this. As well as all the other good stuff that I sell and hand make myself, like the necklaces I make. I have stone crab necklaces. I have bracelets, keychains. The list goes on and on. Check it out. See, there's the shirts, the keychains, and all the stuff. All right. Don't forget our Revo. Or oh, Revo too. Don't forget the Revo. All right. What fish did you grill on the half shell? Works perfect on salmon, by the way. Um, we've done quite a fish on the half shell. We've done red snapper. We've done mutton snapper. Red we've fish. done red fish. Um, they're all quite yummy. So, yeah, the half shell is awesome. I love it. Keeps all the juices in. It makes it nice and tender to eat. It doesn't dry out the fish. Hey, Craig. Thanks, Craig. Nice to see you. Haven't, haven't spoke to you in a while. Thank you so much for showing up. Oh, thanks, Craig. Yeah, the bracelets do last a long time, shockingly. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the most expensive bracelets in the world, but again, if you want... I, a, I do have a Karen story, though. If you do want something <laughs> of, like, bracelets tied by me, adult and child size is available, and yes, men wear bracelets, too. It's just totally up to you. Real men wear bracelets. It's just totally up to you uh, if you want to wear a bracelet. So go check it out. Also, sterling silver bracelets available. This is a sterling silver hook um, and a lot of other cool stuff, so I'm sorry to keep saying that, but... Anyhow, e. Lopez wants to know if out. you would consider doing a weekend kids fishing trip, camp, camp, fishing camp. You know, there are a lot of organizations that do that, and I think we would probably join up with one. Yes. It would probably be a better idea for us because a lot of them are established. Like the West Palm Beach Fishing Club has a great one, and uh, Take Me Fishing has some great ones. So, you know, I think you're right, yes. uh, Lope, Mr. Lopez or E. Lopez, <laughs> that yes. we should uh, revisit that and, and get on that. It just, uh, well, I have no excuse. That's a good idea. Thank you. Yes. Where's Brian's merchandise? I'm not sure what that means. I don't have merchandise. The shirt that he wears is on the website, if that's what yes, you mean. Yes, that's that's my website, yeah. right? Um, Our Florida boy yes, wants to say the Karen there's story. There's plenty. Now yes. look. Hold on, really quick. <laughs> How about a cotton or fleece warm hoodie for the colder climates? Go back to the website. Go back to the website. Uh, hold on. Sorry, I'm going to show you right now where the other stuff is. No. There we go. All right, go down all the way. All right, the I'm way showing down. you where the apparel is. Other apparel all the way, is. click it. It's at this area here click from the it. bottom. Just to show them the assortment. So you go to there, and then you select all the different sizes. There's hoodies, long sleeves, all different kinds of awesome stuff. So check that yeah, out. You got to go like this one, you guys. All right, so guys, we got to change, change some of these logos, but yeah, that's but it. That's the dirt sizzle stuff. So check it right. out. All right, I'm sorry. Patreon link, Brian. Can we stick that in oh, there, please? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. We need help. <laughs> We need links. Stanley. <laughs> Do you have a permit for them guns put in? 2021 calendars. Good question. We will be announcing that here real soon in the next couple of weeks, and they'll be available for pre-order. So stay tuned on our social media sites, and we'll probably mention it here on YouTube as well. But make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the platforms have all different content every day. So check it out. And, uh, again, 2021 calendars will be announced real soon. So I'm excited for that. Can't believe the year is almost over. And yes, my sisters, they are doing all well. They're all married. And the twins, for example, Erin in particular, just had a baby. So she's doing the mama thing, and she lives up in South Carolina. And then the other twin, Megan, is recently married as well. And she lives in Georgia. So, um, you know, my, my siblings are not around anymore. And after my dad passed, you know, everybody kind of went their own ways. So they were here a lot during that time when my dad was still here and we were, we were taking care of them. So, um, yeah, so, but they're all doing good. And Connor's still doing his thing in the Marines out in San Diego. So all is good. And then my other sister as well, she lives in Texas. So we're kind of separated all over the place. We're all in different states. Now, Dave, David Fahey has a very important question. He wants to know when we're getting married. <laughs> good question. I don't know. Quiet. It's very quiet in here. All right. Hi, Stanley from Houston. What's up, Pedro from Brazil? Uh, Florida boy. We have done a ton of gear reviews. Yes. Again, uh, for you guys just showing up right now, uh, a lot of these questions, if she's caught this fish or that fish, if she's done this, just uh, Google Dar Sizzle and gear review or Dar Sizzle and Redfish. And anything in Florida, it's going to be there. How do you handle that amazing post office looking for alternative for larger fishing equipment? 
I'm not sure what that means, Coral. Coral heads. Um, I handle. I mean, she does a lot of shipping from the house. She she has you know she goes on the app and she prints out the labels, and you know she puts it in the mailbox, and or she do, just drops it off. So she does a lot at home. Yeah. And we don't. I mean, we don't. You know, move uh, a lot of rods and reels or anything though. So you know, it's mostly the bracelets and you know and that kind of stuff. Daryl yeah. White wants, oh, here's a good one. Hey, Daryl, uh, what's coming up in the future? So that's a good question for a Q&A. Yeah. Um, we're going to Jupiter tomorrow. And we're going alligator hunting over the weekend. And October is mostly open. And the first week of November, we're going, um, we're, right October now. is going to be Mullet Island, Mullet Run. And, and right, November, beginning of November, we're going to Grand Isle for a week. Yep. And then Christmas week, we're going to visit Darcy's family. Yeah. And also... Um, going fishing. Yeah. So we got big stuff coming up. Um, no swordfish videos. No. That's the only a one lot, we don't the have. Lo- there's a lot of comments about swordfish today. You guys are just rubbing it in. <laughs> no, we've been on about... Judith. Oh, thank you so much, Judith. You Judith, are amazing. you are amazing. Yeah, heck Judith, yeah. Um, we're not amazing. You are amazing. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you very much. Right. I, I would just... So, swordfish, sorry, I'm going to repeat it again. Sound like a broken <laughs> record. We would love to catch a swordfish one day. One day it will happen for me, but I'm the only person who's yet to catch a swordfish <laughs> as far as fishing people go. We've been on about, I think, like eight or nine swordfish trips now over the course of like three or four years. We just recently did two back-to-back swordfish trips earlier this month. We did one on Saturday, um, but we only caught squid, so we did not catch a swordfish. Hopefully we'll catch a swordfish soon, though. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Let me, guess, let me go through some of these questions real quick. Katie, Mullet, I'm, I'm, I might have misspoke on that Mullet, Mullet Island Run. thing. There is no Mullet Island. Uh, well, maybe there is, but I was talking to Mullet Run, which is an annual migration of bait fish down the east coast of Florida. And so all the other predator fish chase them, and it's a great time to fish. So uh, that, that'll also be in Pompano. Someone asked about Pompano. We're going uh, alligator hunting uh, in central Florida. Um, should do a club with Nick Stanzik. Yeah, maybe we should. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much. And car 24. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, wow. Have you seen my friend's band, Jupiter Trailer Trash? No, we no. haven't. We don't ever go anywhere for anything besides fishing. <laughs> is that your real hair? Another Wahoo comment. The biggest Wahoo we have ever put on our boat is 30 pounds. So we're looking to upgrade that yes. here real soon. She's caught some 40s in Bahamas on the boats, but I've we don't really 40s, count those. Yeah. I only like to count stuff that I catch on my boat. So 30 pound is the biggest Wahoo we have caught. Beard uh, beard vet about the unbelievable. I'm not sure what that is. The boat, <laughs> good boat I hope. But uh, email us, a thing like that. Thank you, NCAR24. Really appreciate your contribution. Um, if you guys, and there's a lot of questions going by, guys. There's like whatever, a thousand people watching. Um, I mean, if you if you, I don't want to ask you to donate money, but if you do a dollar or two dollars, I'll definitely see your question. And if it's a you know a question about fishing or something, and, and you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll save you two dollars if if it's a legit question. Oh, and a good question about those circle hooks. I see you guys almost always using circle hooks. What's the advantage? So many awesome advantages. The circle hook is just the greatest hook in the world. Number one, <laughs> it usually ninety percent of the time always hooks the fish in the corner of the mouth, especially. Especially, no, I don't. Especially if it's a keeper fish uh, or not a keeper fish and it's a small fish, you want to release it. It's not going to do any harm to the fish because you just pop it right out. But also the circle hook works, so it does hook them in the corner. And it's just, I mean, what else do you want to add? I mean, it's great for sailfish. It's well, great. You know, a, a circle hook it sets is meant, the hook on themselves. Right, it's for conservation. And, Let me and, go get and one. And the fish, uh, you know, instead, the circle hooks round. So instead of going in their gut, it comes out and the fish hooks themselves in the lip. You know, uh, a very, very high percentage of the time. So if you're catching and releasing, you should be using a circle hook. And it's required on a lot of fish down here in South Florida. Um, you know, if you use a J hook on a sailfish down here or a shark, you know, you're going to get you're going to get yelled at. All right. So that's why. Uh, Ron, the best wahoo depth. The re- I, I don't know. You know, you got to run around 100 to 300. And you, and you make, uh, you know, north, you go southeast, northeast. You know, you make angles like that. And you go up and down 100 to 300 until you find the fish. I don't know where they are. Here you go. It's not on a string, you We use mustad circle hooks. Hey, you watch this. So you see this hook? It just it comes around your mouth and just goes hooks like that. All right, every time. If, if it was on a if it was on a uh, a line, I could show you, but that's how it does. Okay. Yeah. Like it doesn't go in the so you can't get stuck on the stomach. And then, but when it comes out and it goes on the lip, it goes like that. Yeah. We use mustad. Yeah. Can you see that? 
Yeah. You like the ones. The three nine nine five ones. We like we like three nine nine five one. Those are a light wire hook. A lot of pelagic fish, and on the bottom, maybe you want to use a one time strong. Um, biggest red drum. I've caught freaking monster red drum out of Louisiana. I don't even know how big that thing was. It's in a video. It's typed their sizzle, redfish, and they should pop up. But, I mean, the thing was a tank. It looked deformed. It was so huge. It was huge. Yeah, it was big. Uh, man, you can Google that. And you'll I see did the not pictures. weigh it. We did not weigh it. We released it, of course. Yeah, we just because, you know, they're not big. They're over slot, obviously. How many magazine covers have you been on? We don't even know. I don't know. Ten? Easy. No, I would say a dozen. Uh, whatever. Easy. Ten, yeah. a dozen. Something like that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, and, yes, I have. We have been hi, hooked. Mia. What's up? Yeah, we have been hooked a couple times over the course of the years. There is a video, though. I think you see Dark Sizzle hooked. Type that or something, and the video will pop up. But I buried. The last time I hooked myself, I buried a treble hook into my thumb when I was trying to take a, a barracuda off one of my lures, and that was not fun. But Brian pulled it out. So, so far, we haven't had any incidents. I mean, you get little hooks, little hooks you know, almost every time, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked about deer meat for dinner and blue gabe uh, earlier. I mean, not a lot. You know, deer meat does a lot of hunting, and we just do a lot of offshore fishing. So you know, we don't yeah, run into those guys too them. much. You know, they're you know that's the kind of, we really have different channels. Honestly, you know, deer meat for dinner is name your channel is literally deer meat for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so that's hunting and cooking, and uh, you know, blue gabe does a lot of stuff too, but more along the line, the same lines. And we like to go on our boat and go saltwater fishing. The Keys, I, I got to schedule that. Yes, we got to get to the Keys again. It's epic fishing in the wintertime all around here in southeast Florida and down in the Keys. And now we have the fall migration that's going to start here in the next month or two. And the fish work their way back up the Gulf Stream, um, or actually back down the Gulf Stream because it's so cold up north. So the, we'll have the Mahi, uh, the Mahi fall run. We'll have Cobia. We'll have the wahoo, like, supposed to be happening right now. And then the sailfish happen in, like, January. So it's a really good time to fish. It just gets really rough um, this, that time of the year. Super windy with cold fronts. Yeah. Stanley has a question. He question: what has been your favorite video this year and your most fun trip of 2020? Ooh, I would How, say Pensacola. Yeah, Pensacola. We never even I mean, been to sorry. <laughs> what is it? Appalachicola. Appalachicola. I was going to say the same thing. Appalachicola. Um, it was sick. A, yeah, it was a beautiful day. The folk, people were so nice. Went with the Atlanta Saltwater Sportsman's Club. And if you guys are in Georgia, you know, it sounds weird. They're an inland Atlanta-based saltwater fishing club. But the guys are awesome. And uh, we did it with them. And it was a beautiful day. And the video, again, you can Google up that video. It was great. Yeah. Or just type. Dar Sizzle Red Snapper or something. That video will pop up. Yeah, that's, that's great. Blacko Fishing. Blacko says, uh, oh, Blacko? Black, I'm sorry. Blacko. Um, I, my glasses aren't that good. But I uh, started up a charter business. Congratulations. If you guys are in South Carolina, check out Blacko Fishing. Nice. And good question, Judith. Um, I have, they're, well, they're considered gold fish hooks, but they're also good. Basically, they're 18 karat gold plated fish hooks. They're not solid gold, they're just gold plated. So that's the difference. Um, and yes, they are available. There's a whole list of options there when you go to the bracelets of what uh, color, metal, and type of metal that you want. Sterling silver, 18K gold, all that good stuff. But good right. question, Judith. Yeah, Thank we do you. have real, there is a lot of real silver, sterling silver, all the way right. through, you know, high quality stuff. Like, right. Again, we talk about that too. Right. Here's the link above Darcy. Beautiful snook. Okay. And we put the link in comments and uh, we all got our bracelets on and all these. Yeah. Um, and um, I would stock real gold. I just can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, you don't get asked for it a lot I'm either. Sticking, but, well, if I did have it, but I was sticking to sterling silver. Someone asked about Silent Frank. He's doing great. Um, I mean, we've done some fishing with him. Not this week because no one's been fishing. But um, he went to Boston for a week. He's great. You know, he's one of my best friends. Uh, Michael Walter says, Michael, go back to 2014 or 2015 and look at some of the videos. <laughs> Yeah. Not, neither of us are naturals, and it's been a lot of work, and it's just repetition. Right. Which is one reason when someone asks us, you know, how do you start a YouTube channel? How do you do this? How do you do that? You don't talk about it. You just do it. Okay? Just do things, guys. And when you do it, you know, 100 times, you'll be better at it. And right. people like Michael will be saying, hey, you guys look so natural. Right. Well, it's not it's not natural, but thank you very much. I know a lot of people say I yap a lot in the videos, and when I fish, I get even... Mostly me, I think. I, I get that. really crazy, and I... You guys know, I get, get super excited whether I catch a little fish or a big fish. Um, but the funny thing is, I'm literally like a very shy person. Growing up, I was very shy and not very talkative. And I'm very, uh, 
she's very shy. So she's a hermit. I, I have grown out of that though. What's the biggest thing we fight about? I've grown out of that shell. Besides that, I don't know. <laughs> it's going that we don't go out enough and do oh, things. Oh well, with COVID, we, you know. No, before kind that, of whatever. Before but. that, I'm a social butterfly, as you may imagine. Yes. Right before COVID, we were traveling a ton for like conventions and stuff, and we had like I, just got home and like we're hanging out, oh, and yeah. then we had my annual get together with my uh, my siblings back in February when my dad passed. We got together and hung out. And then uh, before you knew it, it was COVID. So like, boom, this whole year gone. We had a bunch of public. I'm doing a lot more public speaking and going to clubs, fishing clubs, and talking about specific fishing, whether it's snook fishing or just fishing in general. And we had a lot of awesome events lined up earlier, later for later this year or this past year to do some public speaking because I'm trying to get better at that as well. And it all got canceled because of COVID. So COVID has definitely messed with every single person in this right. country. A couple of people are saying they lost a the feed, like one or two people. I mean, I th that's on your end, guys. I think um, my feed says, you know, or is good everywhere. Sorry about that, but that, that happens sometimes. Um, hey, what's up? Living in South Florida. Nice to see you from Boynton Beach. Uh, Val Media has, what best rods do you use? You know, honestly, we just use whatever rods. Um, star rods. G Loomis. Yeah, we have tsunami rods. Yeah, a lot of tsunami rods, which aren't yeah. the greatest rods, but they, you know, they last for the price and the warranty. They're very good, and a lot of guys up northeast use them. We don't really get into that kind of stuff. I gotta tell right. you, we just trust me. You know, some dude will outfish you with a much much crappier rod any day of the week. So don't get caught up in that crap. Um, just make sure for casting, like you know, your lure or your, the weight of your bait, you know, somehow Matt was somewhat is in line with what the rod is supposed to be casting. You know, a half ounce or whatever it says. Just go fishing. Don't worry too much about that. Thank you so much, Adico, Adico, for the donation. And he said, I fish Alaska for a week every summer. Salmon, rockfish, and halibut. Epic fishing, epic scenery. Is it on your bucket list? Yes. Heck yes. I would love to do that <laughs> one day. I got to try every type of fishing or tr catch one fish at least once. So that is definitely a bucket list fish. All those fish are bucket list fish. I need to go do that. Heck yeah. Hey, Ben. Walleye, up, man? all that good stuff. <laughs> ben, ben is testing us one, two, so, three. We're here, Ben. We got you. <laughs> uh, well, I fish with Blair. We already fished with Blair Wiggins. We have. Google it, my brother. I did. She was the first girl to ever. ever fish with Blair Wiggins. And I haven't seen no other, no other girls in any of these shows either. So ever. they were the last. Yes. Listen, Epic video. We Dar caught Sizzle a huge redfish. I have to point out that Darcyzzle has done everything first of everybody. Wow. We, Clayton, we, thank you so much. When we started That's this huge. thing, it was Darcyzzle and Blacktip. And since then... They have pioneered the whole thing. So anyone you see anyone else do, they're still a little first, and they're copying her. <laughs> thank you. Thank Clayton. Whoa, Clayton. Thank you so much. That's really, really nice. Thank you very really much. Really appreciate it. It helps a lot. Yeah, thank it helps a lot. Thank you so much. A lot, because we you know Seriously. gas and everything. And, yeah. you know, no other channels have to, are running two boats to show you guys actually fishing. All these folks, and God bless them, um, you know, they have great channels, but, you know, they're all on charter boats. And going on these ridiculous trips, and that, that's great. But you know, ours, what we try and do is go out on a boat, our own boat. And we have flats boat, whoa, and the other, Carl, and the other boat, and um, you know, try and catch your own fish and show you what it's really like. So it's it's expensive because other dudes don't have a boat and they just go on chars all the time and they got no expense. Right. But thank you so, Carl. Much. That's really I don't even know what to say, Carl. Wow, that's huge. Really, really appreciate it, Carl. Yeah. E it's email epic. us, Carl, and. Clayton, and we'll send you something. Yeah, we'll send you something sure what, for sure. We'll figure it out, Darcy's well. offshore at gmail.com. I mean, that's really nice. Thank Easy you so email. much. I mean, thank you, thank you. I mean, you know, that again brings up a point I didn't have time for before. Is that, you know, this whole thing is because you Judith. guys. Judith! Oh my gosh, everybody is Jeez, donating a lot. You guys are awesome. Judith, email me as well, please. <laughs> yes. You have sent a bunch. And a lot of people asked me a question, too. I saw about the bracelets. Y'all just caught, like, You'll see the, the selection when you're on the website, my store right. website, yeah, and it says downs. adult, child size, you know, child under 10. So adult sizes are 99% of the people. If you're a bigger person, like bigger person, and you think you need a bigger size. you talking about me, guys? If you think you need a bigger size, put a note in the, you know, note to seller section. But, I mean, I've sold hundreds of them over the years, and nobody ever complains about them not fitting. So they will fit, I promise. They're adjustable. They're adjustable to your size. And the adult sizes will fit all men, uh, plain and simple. So don't worry about that. Pop Pop's free bracelets are two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell the Karen story real quick. But anyway, these are twelve dollar bracelets. I mean, and, and you know, and Darcy, if you buy a bracelet, and here's the thing: 
All right. Darcy is going to look, read your email order. She is going to tie the bracelet personally herself. She is going to put it in an envelope herself. She's going to stamp the envelope herself. She's going to put the label on the envelope herself, and she's going to carry it to the mailbox herself. That is the kind of personal service you're getting for $13, or whatever the heck it is. And so, meanwhile, Karen bought one. After we gave her discount code, which she didn't deserve, which was expired. Yeah. And then six I weeks, didn't have a six, discount. Yeah. Six weeks later, called up and said, her son's friend hit him with a golf club and broke the bracelet. Will we send him a new one? And then we said, no. And then they she berated us online for like four days and had a blocker. So anyway, so these <laughs> this is part of the way we put gas in the boat. She's not Amazon. It's all custom. It's not going to come in two days. It'll be there soon, though. So thank you very much for your Oh, purchase. perfect, George. Thank you. Yeah, George said he has a big hand. He wears a 17-size ring, and he said the, bra- the braces fit him fine. There yes. you go, y'all. There you go. So, and they're adjustable. Braces like, will fit adjustable. everyone. Yeah. I, have big, I have big wrists, too. Yeah, I'm wearing the same size as Brian is. You just adjust, adjust it to your size. Pretty yeah. cool. Uh, so thank you for that. We can sign anything. Uh, Lopez, uh, Lopez, if you buy a shirt from the top part, like one of the shirts that I wear. Where'd it go? This like, one? Yeah. If you buy one of these from the, on the top of the website, we can sign it. If you buy one from the thing that says Darcizzle Apparel on the bottom of the website, it's coming from a totally different company and we cannot sign that. Okay. Yes. So you just need to leave a note in the note to seller section during the checkout process. It's always there. So when everybody types it in there when we have calendars and all that good stuff. So you'll find it. YouTube Zachy said we don't respond. No, we never respond to anybody. Late for dinner said your grandpa lost weight. You're so jealous that I have a hot girlfriend. You never spoke to a girl. Uh, any weird cats. catching cooks coming up? We just did one last week. Yeah, seaweed. And we I also mentioned seaweed. to folks that, uh, you know, we're trying to we're honestly get away from weird catching cooks unless we have to, because honestly, people just do those for views and we like to actually fish. So, you know, we're trying not to. Well, we also wanted to try too. Yeah. You know, so, we want, once in a while, we want to try yeah. things, but we don't want to eat our bait every week or, you know, all this weird, weird stuff. We, we're trying to actually catch fish. And if we don't catch a fish, we're going to eat seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as far as tying the bracelets on, there's like an actual like instructions on the website on how to do that, um, how to tie the bracelets on. But it's it's pretty simple. <laughs> I'll show you really quick. There's um, two knots. There's a knot that ties the hook to the paracord, and then there's a knot here. This is your sliding knot. You slide it up and down on the paracord, and that's what you get your size to. See, you're sliding. So once you slide that, then you figure out the size of your wrist, and you adjust the size of the paracord to your wrist and then you wrap it around. So I'm going to adjust this down to where I like it for me. That's where I have it. And then you just wrap it. Um, Charles says hogfish, you know, there's not a lot of hogfish around here. Simple. And you know, you don't really catch them on hook and line too often, but um, we have caught them before in the keys, but we haven't really targeted them. Uh, Watchman asks, are you on fish brain? No, they're also sponsored by fish angler. I got yes. a lot of sponsors behind us here right now. Um, there's quite a few. Uh, we're on the Fish Angler app. It's a great app. We've been on there for like two years. And yeah. Darcy marks all our fishing locations awesome. on there. So check that out. Follow Darcy. And you'll see the exact GPS coordinates of where we fish. Um, Man, I can't wait to catch swordfish either. I can't I keep reading the name swordfish. Yeah. Oh, one day. Uh, Andrew Vasta says, would you do a collab with uh, the Gale Force Twins? That Those girls are doing a great job. They're kind of new to the scene. Um, if they call us, I'll be happy to talk to them. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. When is your next YouTube live chat? I don't know. This one's going great, though. Maybe next <laughs> yes. month. I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna... We don't have a plan yet, but we're working on this one right now. <laughs> well, Sabrina asks, can you fish with the hook? No, these are decorative hooks. These aren't real hooks. No. Don't worry about that. Yeah. You don't fish with them. Hey, Ryan Duran. They're, they're not sharp. You can wear them, of course. They're not going to puncture anybody. They're they're jewelry. They're Chris Johnson says fake. I'm a cutie. Thank you so much, Chris. We really appreciate it. Uh, that, that, Bring back Meg. We agree. We love Meg. Yeah. How did we meet, David X? How did we meet? Go ahead. <laughs> we met at work. I'm, I was a lawyer or an attorney, and Darcy had just got a, she was very young at the time, even younger than now. He was young, too. Younger. I, I was younger. You were young. Oh, and, my gosh. Uh, anyway, she got a job as a receptionist at the office, at the front desk, at, at a big building yeah, or whatever. Yeah, we worked together. And that's how we met, and we, I asked her out. Because I was overconfident. <laughs> Brian, Brian's former her. job, he's a former real estate attorney. Yeah, he I'm did a, that I'm for many, many shot. years. You know, I'm kind of a big Many shot. years. He had his own practice in New York, a law firm in New York, and uh, he's now officially retired. 
We fish full time. Yeah, and um, and we've been uh, living together now nine years in March, so eight and a half years. So pretty awesome. Hey, Florida boy, we're doing good. Thank yeah. you so much, Joseph. Yes, we have caught mean. sea trout, y'all. We have caught basically every fish in saltwater that swims down here. Good night, Just Leroy. Type our sizzle sea trout, and it'll pop up. Sea trout. We like to use little paddle tails, but you can use shrimp on a bobber, all kinds of stuff. Yep. And as far as the bracelets fitting as an anklet, you could totally do that. Go yeah. ahead and leave a note in the note to seller section that you want it as an anklet, and I will tie it a little bigger for you to put on your ankle. Yeah. Most of them do fit, but again, I'm not going. You know, I tie. Sell them as bracelets. I don't sell them as anklets. So if you do want it, again, just put that in the notes of seller section. I'll make it bigger. It should fit, but again, All right. they're bracelets. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't do real estate anymore. Um, I'm don't do it. editing software. George asks, "What editing software we do? We use Premiere and all Adobe products. Yeah. Uh, Sweet, I guess they call that. And I'm the only one who does editing. Darcy doesn't do editing." I don't know how yeah. to edit a video. Hey, Snook Hunter. Um, yeah, n- nighttime snooking. You know, it just the camera does not like it, like the nighttime, and Darcy doesn't like bugs, so we don't do a lot of nighttime stuff. Yes. yes. Well, hold on. Matthew graduated with Megan and Aaron here. Oh, Thanks yeah. so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I went it. to school and graduated with Megan and Aaron. That's so cool. Um, my hey, my, I love watching you guys. Very cool. Uh, my, Very cool. Darcy's. Fr- I wonder uh, if my my sisters will remember you, Matthew. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they will. They're very yeah. nice. They're, the they're nicest, both married now, they're too. They're the nicest people in the world. I know he's growing up. They're so much nicer than me. <laughs> uh, Mike says, uh, Darcy's from Killian and, and uh, West Miami. I'm from South Kendall. Miami. Ken- oh, she went to Killian High School in Kendall. Kendall. And uh, she used to go out of the Homestead Ramp, but she lives you know, up here for about a decade now. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, is this shirt wear. that he's wearing? Yes, it's available on the website. Yep. I actually bought this off the website for him. <laughs> yeah, Literally. we have to buy the shirts too, guys. Yeah, we buy them um, and get them shipped to us. That's how they make them. You buy it, and then they make it, and then they ship it to you. But just scroll down on the shop page, starsizzleoffshore.com forward slash shop. Scroll all the way down and click on the bottom where it has the apparel, and you'll find that color. You're going to have to search through it and go through your assortments, but it's there. Uh, and Pop Pop says his wife's going to buy all the bracelets. Hi, Chris. Super cool. Hey, Doug Ray. We get skunked all the time. Um... I mean, we don't get skunked, but, you know, we can't do the same a snook video every single week for you guys. So, so a problem with us is that we, being that we catch our own fish, you know, we have to catch something different all the time. So sometimes we do get skunked, you know. We, we went wahoo fishing like four times in a row last week or the week before that and got skunked every single day. Yeah. So, you know, that's really a problem for our business model. But um, thankfully, a lot of you guys, like Aaron May, uh, thanks so much, Aaron, are helping us with, on this live stream right now. Yeah. But y'all just stay tuned, like all, again, all on all of our social media pages, you know, particularly, you know, YouTube, we post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays, so we're not on here every day posting, but as far as Instagram, Twitter, um, and Facebook goes, we're constantly posting there. So we will announce when the cookbook's available, we will announce when the 2021 calendars are available, and all those good products are coming out for you guys to check out. So we will be keeping you up to date. And it's going to happen here in the next... I would say two to three weeks. Hold so on. someone keeps mentioning Kelly Young. You know who Kelly tuned. Young is? Yes. All right. Well, have me email me. You know, I don't want to tell you guys. Yeah. We're She's a new girl too. She's oh, you know well, whatever. There's Does a she bunch, have a boat? You know, we were the no. Oh well. She's uh Catch Em All's <laughs> ex girlfriend. Oh um, yeah. yeah, I mean whatever. She now has a YouTube channel. And those people want to call us, they feel free. I mean Yes. But you know, we don't we don't just do videos because another hot girl. All right. We're not doing hot girl videos for you guys. So just yeah. forget it. Yeah. I mean it is what it is, guys, but like we were the That's why you're saying that. We were the why else. I don't know why you're not saying you should visit George Provoromo. Well, they keep saying deer meat. Yeah. Yeah. We're gay. Um, so, like, I was the very first female in the fishing space on YouTube, you know, six, seven years, six years ago now. And now the fishing niche has exploded on YouTube, and there's that many more girls fishing. So they literally call me the OG. Well, she <laughs> the <loves>. OG of <laughs> YouTube. Because uh, I was the first girl, and now there's a bunch of girls doing Exactly what I do, which is very cool. Yeah. We're getting a lot more girls into the space. Yeah. But I was first. I'm just, <laughs> Don't forget it. I'm just saying. Like, they literally, <laughs> like, fans out in public are like, you were first. You're the OG. She's the grandma I'm of the girls. I'm the OG. So, d- yeah. Market, d- d- digital just fishing. <laughs> just saying. So, I'm happy that there's a bunch of girls in the market. And yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's just awesome for everybody in general. But, yeah. So, just keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Florida Fishing Friends. I mean, email us again. Um, what else we got here? What's my favorite knot, man? 
I mean, as far as knots go, I mean, the uni is great. Um, sometimes I like to snell my hooks depending on what I'm doing, but I use the uni knot quite a bit. Um, I like the uni to uni knot when I'm connecting my fluorocarbon. If I have a little more time, then I'm doing the FG knot. Um, I just, it just kind of depends on what I'm doing. But majority of the time, I'm always tying the uni to uni. The uni knot and the FG knot are like my three main knots. Oh, and the loop knot. I do really, <laughs> I like the loop knot a lot when I'm using lures, like top water and stuff. It gives it a lot more action. And like DOAs. You I don't think you should put a loop knot on a top water. It doesn't make any sense. A bunch of people do it. Because you're trying to like, you know, you're trying to have a direct connection to the front of the lure. So I guess can, not. Maybe like, so I'm sorry. Work it. Maybe I misspoke. I think I use it like on flare hawks. No, I use it like, all the time. I also use it on the DOA. Um, yeah. The DOA. Uh, well, that makes sense. You get a little more action on it. Terrorize. Terrorize. Steal a terrorize. Uh, what are your fears, yes. Dar Sizzle, besides bugs? <laughs> Who said that? Right here, Florida boy. Wants what to are get your to know fears? You a just better. like to get to know you a little better. My fears? I don't know. Getting cancer? Get... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Darcy's father passed away from cancer. And, whoa. Well, no, yeah, glad you asked. Well, I just being honest. No, seriously, my sister. Well, afraid my, of dying. My younger sister. I'm the oldest <laughs> of five. <laughs> My second oldest sister, the second oldest of the family, she had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and she was diagnosed at the age just before she turned 21, and she went through aggressive chemotherapy and went through the whole night. She lost her hair and everything, and um, she's fine to this day, thank God, but uh, that was a scary thing, and she just, you know, had a baby about two and a half years ago, so, she, you know, she's living her life and following her dreams, but that was super scary, and then my dad passed from cancer, so it's just... The most evil disease ever. Yeah, so that's like one of my fears. But I don't so, want to get down here. Sabrina, we do have a couple knot tutorials. Um, also, um, netknots.com, animated knots. That's great net tutorials. But we'll do some more. Uh, thank you, Trinidad. Um, I'm good. Doing good with diet, Carl. Thanks. Hope you're doing good, too. Uh, yeah, I miss we miss the sisters, too. Yeah. Are we going to have babies? Awesome. I'm not sure we're going to have any babies. Not soon, anyway. <laughs> You know, Terry, about Victor and Brooke, you know, we love them too, but I, I mean, I'll throw it out right here. They just ghosted us and they didn't want to fish with us no more after we brought them on our channel like four times. And I don't really care. That's the truth. It is what it is. We, it is what it is. And I, I think they're doing great. Congratulations to them. Good for we, them. I thought we were going to be friends. <laughs> we did. <laughs> but, good you know, them. I thought that was going to go great, but they, they didn't think so. Yep. Um, it is what it is. Eric, good for that, them. that's great to see Pink Sea, which is awesome. Oh, sorry about that, Ricky. Sorry for your loss, man. Yes. Yeah, and, like, fishing does, you know, going fishing really, my dad is out there on the water. Like, we spread his ashes, you know, in the salt water off of Key West um, when he passed. He's been gone about a year and, like, eight months now. But it's tough because he was, like, my best friend, and I grew up fishing with him, and I have so many awesome memories on the water with him. So, yeah, I just got to keep fishing in memory of him. You're totally right. And every big fish I get, I know he sends it, sends it my way. He so. does. I, I feel that totally. way. I, feel, I, I literally feel that way sometimes. Yeah. Um... Oh, thank you, Stanley. Thank you so much. Yes, thanks, Stanley, for that, that contribution, 20 bucks. I really appreciate it. Live beater or artificial, you know, Darcy particularly, and me even more, like, I can say it a lot. Darcy just wants to kill fish and fill the damn boat up. She doesn't care what, <laughs> how it happens. I, I don't I, kill I, that I, many fish. I, I do a lot of releasing. It, she is a ruthless. I do a lot of releasing. <laughs> if she has to. She is a ruthless killer of fish up there with people that we've, like, the best fishermen we've fished with, and she... Is just one of, she's ruthless. She's a, so whatever it takes to get the fish in the boat, she doesn't care. Well, and here comes stone crab trap season. So I love my carcasses. Yeah, so she'll stock up the carcasses. It's just <laughs> I'm the only girl anything. that collects carcasses. Okay, I'm so crazy. I have two I mean, fish freezers out back, full of carcasses, full of carcasses, and I'm so excited to go drop them. I go outside today. I think she's cleaning. She's out there cutting bait, cutting bonita strips. Yes. She. I mean, she grew up. She you know grew up a real tomboy with her dad. Fishing and her uncles all fish hard. There's yes. like ten of them, and she just comes from that culture. And she is, she has the passion. That's why she's so great. She has the ability and the passion for it, which makes the difference. So I don't have that passion myself, but I can appreciate that she does. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Samuel Golden. Hey, Ricky, we don't do, haven't done a lot of freshwater recently, but I could Google and we have all kinds of freshwater stuff here in we Florida. Do. Everything you want to see. Oh yeah, we catch awesome fish right in our canal outside, like big. All kinds of exotics. You got to check it out. Hey, uh, Manor Ram asked about hurricanes. I mean, none of them hit us, but, you know, the weather just bad. It, I mean, you just can't go fishing. I mean, as far as my freezers, they're not the biggest freezers in the world. They're, I don't know, little, like, 
I don't know, like three foot by two foot freezers, then they're not that big. I don't have like ma- massive commercial freezers, but right, we have like um, three freezers. No, we have two. No, two. We have two dedicated freezers and two yeah. refrigerators in the house. I just bought them at Costco. One of the freezers is full of baked. Yeah, I just caught them at Costco. And I, I bought a new freezer last year, and Brian's like, good, we're throwing out the old freezer. I'm like, okay, that's fine. This one's way bigger. And then we ended up keeping both because <laughs> you need more space when you buy freezers. It's really funny. <laughs> nope. I think any other girl or any other wife will tell their husband, no, you can't put fish in the freezer. But me, just load it up with all kinds of stinky carcasses <laughs> and everything you could possibly think of. <laughs> <laughs> Load it up. <laughs> Caesar asked if we do charters. No, we don't do charters, guys. I mentioned that before, but I know a lot of you guys are new. Um, you know, we just, that's not our business model. We make videos and hopefully show you guys how you can catch more fish. Um, we are going to get our captain's license soon. So that's maybe a nice little announcement for this. Uh, we are going to get our licenses just to have them. Yeah. Uh, like a little feather in your cap, but we're not going to be taking people out. Yeah. Anytime soon, at least. Hello, Michael Queen. We don't have any plans to go back to Apalachicola, but maybe we'll next year. We'll see what happens. Those yeah. Atlanta guys love it over there. We we gotta go to Jacksonville. Yeah. Not loaded up on Mullet yet. Yeah. Coral heads. We were no. We've never we've never gone blue crabbing yet. We think no. from Jupiter North, but we don't know. So and we haven't done it yet. So I'm not gonna give you any advice. Yeah. I mean, I I would just Google it honestly. In anywhere. There's current and moving water and some rocks or stuff. You're just going to have to test out the waters and try it. That's what we do with our stone crab traps. We drop them, go check them. If there's no tra- stone crabs in there, then we move them. And, you yeah. know, try to figure out yeah, what works. Yeah, that's it. Just like fishing. Yeah, it's just like fishing. Literally, just like fishing. Terry Bird asks, when's our next golf trip? And it's really, I guess it's going to be our Louisiana. Ne- right. It's going to be, we're going to Louisiana in, in November. November. Yeah. And people keep asking about my ribs. Thank you so much. They're really healed up pretty well. You know, uh, they, it is. I got a little thing here. Sometimes if I sleep on it wrong, but it's basically you know almost gone. Now my shoulder hurts from lifting weights. Yeah. <laughs> so I ask about my shoulder now. Um, thank you so much, Lone Wolf. Really appreciate that. Yeah. And as far as like offering charters, guys, like we said, we're not charter people and we don't take charter people out, but you do have the opportunity to fish with us in a couple different ways. Like occasionally, maybe once a year, we do a giveaway um, with, with a certain company. Like we did one earlier this year when we were, we were raffling off money for the relief for the captains for COVID. Yes. Um, so we do that. And then um, also through the CCA, we have done a, we've done a raffle with them too. Yes. With the trip. So it just depends on what's happening. Yeah, and we also sometimes, but I mean, I, I will tell you that, you know, we try and really reserve those things, you know, for like needy folks, you know, like, right. Like veterans, disabled right. veterans, or maybe kids, right. or something right. or other, you know. So, you know, we don't, you know, we don't usually gear it towards, you know, I don't know. Yeah, and we and we also one other thing is we do offer fishing trips with us, show and show we have are. we have fished with stop. We have fished with the, hold on. We have fished with a couple <laughs> uh, patrons in the past through Patreon, our website patreon.com. Just go check it out. There's a tier there that you can sign up for, and you do have the opportunity to fish with us after you've been uh, part of our membership for a few months. But all that information is there. So if you're really, really interested, just go check that out too. And we have a lot of awesome Patreons now. So mm-hmm. if you want to support us, yeah, I'm gonna what? run through real quick. What show them, show them your bicep. They ask how strong you are. Oh my gosh. Show them. They see them in my videos. No, show them. They do the bicep. You see it. Show it. That's my right. There you go. Get a higher. I got to tell her. Elbows up higher. Elbow. Triceps forward. There you go. That's my girl. There we go. <laughs> Fishing muscles. Nice guys. Um, the other thing with the trips is, uh, you know, we're not charter captains, so we can't legally take people fishing. And it could be, it's kind of construed as compensation because we have a business, a fishing channel. Right. Um, but if anybody wants to go fishing with us, they can book a charter with one of our charter friends and we'll go fishing. So, you know, now, no one ever, you know, not many people decide to do that, but go ahead and um, we'll be fishing. Uh, you can do controlled chaos fishing charters out of Palm Beach. You can do uh, Daymaker charters out of Stewart. We'll, both, we'll set up with both of them to do that. So anytime you want to go fishing. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. I can't make a circle hook bracelet. <laughs> the paracord doesn't fit through circle hooks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the paracord fits through the hooks I buy, but circle hooks, the hole is tiny. I can't get the paracord through. Sorry. Um, what else we got here? What's up, Jeff? How you doing? Um, hey, Katie, yes, be, this will be recorded. It'll be online. We're going to probably 
cut it off in about 10 minutes, and uh, but it will be online after yeah. that. We live about an hour from Stewart. Yes. We do a lot of fishing up there. So, for example, we get up at 4 a.m., leave the house by 5 a.m., get to Stewart by 6 a.m., and then we're fishing. So um, we have a very long day, but we put, we, we're put dedicated. We go out, and we go real fishing. We get out yeah. there early when there's dark, and we can catch bait and all that good stuff. Uh, a lot of people ask about for getting married. We talked about it a little earlier, but Darcy doesn't like to get married. I want to get married. What the heck? That's it. I'm th- it's out there. It's out there. It's out there. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Why did you leave New England? Because I love fishing. Um, you didn't live in New England. Yeah, he means I lived in New York. I was part of New England, I think. And, uh, you know, I was always a boater. I grew up boating and fishing, and I just couldn't take only doing that for, you know, the summer months. Um, how long is, Dar- is Darcy's hair? Very long. Boom. It's long. They see it. Stand up. You've seen all my pictures on social media. Up. Why? I'm going to be past the screen. I know. They, it's down, it's about down to rebut. Hey, David, congratulations. You know, Aikido works. Um, it'll work temporarily. You know, I don't know, how, I don't know if you want to go more than a couple months with that. I have the thickest hair ever. But uh, I've just been, you know, not eating any of that standard carb stuff and, and just, you know, cutting down. You know, I'll fine tune maybe later. But, you know, when you are when you first start a diet, it's very easy to lose weight. You just got to cut out a little bit and you start losing, you know, three, four, five, six months down the road. You know, then you got to really tighten up, which uh, I'm dreading. Oh. Um, Why don't you discuss that bikini thing we talked about in other videos people keep bringing up? Did someone mention it? Yeah. We're just not doing bikinis. I mean, we're just not doing, you know, bikinis anymore and butt shots or, you know, any of that stuff. It's just, we're not doing it. Men don't seem to be able to respect it. And I don't know. I mean, not, not that she did it, you know, purposely before, but, you know, now I'm I'm more intentionally making her put shorts on a lot. And, you know, she's still going to wear bikinis when it's appropriate. Like if we do beach fishing stuff or, yeah. you know, we're out in the ocean with our friends, like with controlled chaos and just like normally. But, you know, we're not, we're, we haven't done it purposefully for like three years. And we're just, you know, and it's going to be winter, so it's going to be much less. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. That's really it. Just a progression, I guess. You know, I don't know. Normal. Yeah. Right. We're not, we're not. You know, we're not using bikini and click in thumbnails anymore. Yeah, if you not notice, happen. it's not not happening anymore. Sorry, the channel's changing. I want to be respected in this fishing industry. I want to go somewhere here, and um, in order for majority of the males to, you know, see that I'm actually fishing and not just stare at a bikini, that's what I need to do. So, yeah, <laughs> sorry, but I was, gonna, I was just talking the to way Stanley. The you know, Stanley, I'm, Stanley, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt, but Stanley, on my screen here, my super chat. Oh, my chat screen, my popped out chat. You know, your name is uh, has a wrench next to it, and it's like a different color, you know, than the other people. So yeah, you, you know, know who he is. I know, but he's a moderator, right. so I, but on his end, he's not getting the gear, so he can't moderate. I guess. But oh. Whatever. Um. What else we got? Mark asked, "Was it hard giving up the meth?" Yes, very difficult, very hard. Yeah. We have not gone. We have not really done a lot of any sort of sturgeon, sturgeon walleye, pike. I have pike, yet to do sturgeon. Any of that fishing. stuff up north. We we will someday. We'd love to. It'd be awesome. Um, corgi. We've caught corgis. Yeah, we did a corgi them. catch clean cook. Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks, Stanley. Steinhatchie. I keep saying that. We've never fished out of there, but we fished directly below there. I believe Crystal River. No. Uh. It's the same spot. Well, Crystal River, Stan Hatchie, it's all the same place. No, Homo Sassa. Homo Sassa. We've gone, we go scalloping every year, and every year we try and do a trip out of there. And every year, the weather stops us, literally the last three years in a row. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? Miami, Florida. Yeah, we got to fish in Miami, Florida, some at least. Yeah, we never go down there. Um, just traffic, I guess. Yeah. Red Ed, that's right. Homo Sassa. Uh, tarpon at Punta Gorda, you know. I mean, it's just tarpon everywhere. It's just, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I have another hook really, story I could tell really quick. Well, it's actually, I, I guess I was I was impaled. I wasn't hooked by a hook. Um, Thanks, Alexa. Oh, thank you, Alexa. Yes, I will check out your Instagram, definitely. Um, as soon as I have some time here. She won't even check out my Instagram, Alexa. That's like a oh, big deal. Oh, goodness. But, okay, Literally so a big deal. About like four or five <laughs> years ago, before we started really filming all the time when we were out fishing, um, I... We were trolling lures for inshore, trolling, looking for um, fish and 
trying to catch fish. And all of a sudden, one of my lines went off. I reeled it in. And it ended up being like a six-inch catfish that was hooked backwards. Like he accidentally got like side hooked as a lure was swimming through the water. So his tail was facing towards me and the tail, you know, the head was facing the wrong way. Picked it up out of the water, and then uh, it was dangling on it, and I went to get, go get, like, pliers to take the hooks off, and it fell off the hooks of the lure, and it freaking fell right into my upper thigh. The dorsal fin of this, the catfish, when they're smaller, their dorsal fins are much more pointier and sharp. It just buried right into my thigh, like my upper thigh, kind of by my groin area, believe it or not. And it was stuck there, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't get this out of me. And then I just – it was stuck because the barbs were reversed, and they're meant to – sorry – and they're meant to uh, stay once it's in, it, once it's impaled something, the barbs are reversed, so it's hard to get out. So I just took both my hands, and I just ripped the catfish out of my leg. And as I did that, I sliced open my finger on the uh, pectoral fin, so I had blood gushing down my leg, and I had a giant slice in my finger, which I still have a really nasty scar here from it. And I'll never forget that because it was really terrible. The pain that I felt in my leg was the worst and uh to this day i still have like some weird nerve sensations because it definitely like messed with my nerves it was like in a really scary spot where it impaled me so ever since that with the catfish getting sliced twice or impaled twice by a catfish i am don't want anything to do with those things i stay far far away <laughs> that was not fun and brian was like can i film can i film and i was just crying and i was a mess i'm like no you can't so we don't have it on film but it was a pretty wild pretty wild crazy situation <laughs> oh, we got a couple. We got a couple uh, donations here. We gotta go through. Yeah, Lone Wolf. Putting Cook when is our cookbook coming out? Next month or so. Darcy, just I mean, I I've I've done it. I'm it's on paper, um, or on comp- digital. In the next month, and or so. we just needed Darcy to read, read through yeah. it. So we, I mean, we're, we're trying, man. Calendars in the next month. It's really, or so. all these orders. I mean, she gets so many orders, and she again, she ties them all by herself. So it just, you know, just she just is always doing that. So it's not a lot of time. Um, but thank you very much. Thank you. Um, there's another one down here. I've Chris Chandler, thank you so much. I watch every video preparing myself for a family trip to the Keys in October. Awesome. There you go, Chris. Yeah. I hope you catch some fish. You yeah, should. And, yeah, and we have some great videos in the Keys, so you know, check those out. Yeah. And like we've been saying a couple times on the stream, if you knew, you haven't heard it, but um, you know, if you're looking for something, if Darcy ever caught a redfish, Darcy's biggest shark, how to do this, how to do that, just Google Darcyzzle and whatever it is. And uh, if it's had to do with Florida, it'll be there as long as it's not a swordfish. <laughs> we have to get to Texas. Absolutely. Yes. Hey, thanks, Dylan. Dylan said he's a better fisherman because of you. That's exactly why oh, we're wow. here. Wow. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. That's awesome. Great to hear. Do, 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 do. Oh, noodle needs your catfish. One day, yeah. yeah, I gotta try it. I gotta. Uh, trolling motor. I mean, we have a Minn Kota. You know, people have the Rodan. There's some other companies coming out with. Um, some new ones. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to mention what companies they are, so I'm not going to, but there's going to be some big companies coming out with um, more soon. I think Lorance even has one now from the last I cast, but there's an- another huge company in that space is going to have one soon. Oh, thank you. Express Communication. Very cool. Wow, thank Express. Really appreciate it. Thank you, back at you. Um, hey, Rick, we talked about oh, the yes, sisters so before. You know, they're all married yes. and doing their thing, have, having kids. So it's, you know, they're busy. I have three sisters and a brother. My brother's in the Marines, stationed in San Diego, California. He's doing good, doing his thing. And then my three sisters, again, are married, and two of them have kids. Um, so they're doing the mom thing and all that good stuff. So unfortunately, Megan, I don't think that's the one you've been seeing a lot. Or you did see a lot. I don't think she's planning to come down here anytime too soon, but we'll see what happens. It would be awesome, though. Um, Augusta, I answered you. I know you asked me three times that question. I've answered it five minutes ago. You gotta get, I'm trying to answer questions in the comments too. So make sure you guys looking at the chat. How long are we going to stay on? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay on another 10 minutes maybe. Yeah. My PB snook, my PB snook, man. I have caught some freaking monster snook <laughs> over the years. I am like blessed to the amount of huge snook that I've caught. It's insane. I think the biggest I've caught is probably pushing 45, uh, almost 45 inches. I mean, the thing was a freaking beast, and I have plenty of huge snook videos. You guys got to check it out. There's Sizzle Snook. Type that on YouTube. Um, but we freaking slayed them. I mean, slayed them. We caught monsters. Some so big that they actually broke the landing net. I mean, just 
freaking toads. It's amazing how big they look when they get that size. They look big. They look like dinosaurs. Their mouths are so huge. It's insane. But I, I would say I've caught at least a dozen fish over 40 inches over the years. So I'm really, really lucky to say that. And my college degree. My college degree, uh, I think I graduated 2017 or 16. Anyhow, it was criminal justice. <laughs> That's what I was interested in. I was not exactly sure what I wanted to do when I grew up, but uh, I knew I was interested in criminal justice, so I got my degree in that. Um, yeah, snook is delicious to eat, especially when you get a keeper. Caught a couple nice ones this past year. Really uh, nice. And snook season is back open, so you're allowed to keep them. Down here, they have to be minimum 28 to maximum of 32, so you have to check your re regulations where you live. They change. <clears throat> trying to catch your first redfish. Well, good luck, Latif Latifa. Good luck. Catch them up. Redfish hey, Brandon, so I mean, it's tarp, you know, it's tarping all over Florida. Oh, my gosh, tarping everywhere. Right now with the <laughs> mullet run, they are everywhere, just heavily feeding on mullet, just gorging on mullet. It's insane. Hundreds of them. <clears throat> yeah, you need your snook permit if you want to keep a snook for sure. That little permit is well worth it. <clears throat> da, da, da. Yeah, mullet is good smoked. Smoked. Do you guys entertain the thought of doing charters? We kind of talked about this before, but no, that's not our business plan. We don't want to do charters. Um, we we do offer to go fishing with you with other with our charter partners or charter friends, and we can make a video together. But we don't charter we don't want to charter sorry we just enjoy fishing and not chartering and we like making videos for y'all so oh my leg just locked up have you had walleye no that's mm -hmm. another fish i need to go catch desperately i hear about how epic they are they taste delicious um so yeah i need to go do a walleye trip as well kind of everything in the fresh water up north like perch and walleye and salmon and uh, the rainbow trout and all those awesome things I have yet to catch. So one day, I hope I will. I really hope I will. Have you ever eaten tarpon? No, you, it's highly illegal. You cannot keep a tarpon. You cannot eat a tarpon. Um, you gotta, you gotta read about each fish. But they're highly protected. They were almost wiped out by fishermen. So no, you're not allowed to eat tarpon or keep them. They're all catch and release. It's a sport fish. Chip asked a question about crabs. A crabbing yeah. to change the things or whatever. Y'all probably crab traps when Florida changes the regulations on opening size. They did last year. That was a pain. Um, I mean, I know that I did hear about the. I, th I think you're talking about blue crab or stuff. I'm not sure. Certain parts of Florida, I know there was a change in that. But like for instance, I just ordered from the Florida Keys a huge crab trap set. Um, what's that place? Cucujo Sales is where I just ordered it from, and it comes with you know the proper legal requirements, you know, for each year or what have you. So it has all that stuff that I need in there, um, including the opening size. So check out Cujo Sales. They sell all the awesome stone crab trap stuff in the Florida Keys. They're in, like, the middle keys. Hi, Coachy Man. <clears throat> um, hey, Perry, the toadfish are delicious. Yeah, they were good. Yeah. Uh, we're a sunblock, Perry. I mean, it's in shirts, yep. you know. Uh, what else we got? Any plans for tournament fishing? Nothing. I mean, we've done, we've no. done so much. We've tournament done fishing. 100 tournaments, <laughs> but you know, they're not really great for filming. So I'm kind of slowed down on those. Yes. And I have spearfished y'all. So check out my videos. They're sizzle spearfishing. We don't do it too often. I would like to do it a little more, but yes, I have done some spearfishing. Shot lionfish. Um, um, Michael asked awesome about stuff. swimming experience. I'm not sure <laughs> what I could do anything, but yeah. Darcy was like a lifeguard. We both took the, what's the name of the course? The free swim, the free diving course from immersion free diving. I can hold my breath for three minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah. And uh, so we, we both, avid swimmers and snorkelers, we don't have diving, you know, certifications, but. Man, I would just say where to go catch a tarpon. Just go to your local tackle shop and ask those dudes. Ask them where you catch tarpon because it, it changes. And, you know, I don't know every area. By, right. But, I you mean, know, I you don't know. You can catch a tarpon almost everywhere in Florida. Everywhere. I mean, the big, the two big spots in May are um, Boca Grande and Bahia Honda Bridge. Yeah. And Big Pond. But just so go, those are the main, I mean, those are the famous spots, but 
can catch them anywhere. Just ask your local tackle guys. They're the guys that are fishing all the time, and they're the ones that will know, and they'll kind of give you an idea of what to use and where to fish. So thank you, Michael. Mike. I mean, Mike. Thank you, Mike. This Jeez, is so that's ridiculous. Sweet. Heck yeah. Thank you so much, Michael. All oh, thank you. Thank you very much. We try to be as informative as possible, and we do appreciate your comment and your big donation. That means a lot. Yeah. Thank We've you. never floundered gigs. Thank gig. you. Laura. No. Uh, Laura, we want to go we gotta do, do gigging. That. We gotta do. So blue, bad. We do have a blue gig. I know he does that. Yeah. Uh, Laura Mango go. Snapper. That's Darcy's go-to. We have a million videos. Yes. Best paid for Snook. Like right now, it's mullet, y'all. Mullet, mullet run, full whatever, on mullet run no, down Whatever here. they're eating. Sometimes yeah. they're eating snook. You got to match I mean, the hatch. Sometimes they're eating little, yeah. baby, so, little baby bait. Sometimes they're eating right. mullet. If you see little mullet, throw something small or a, a mullet if you have, if you can k- catch them in your cast net. Um, otherwise, throw something small that mimics the size of a small mullet or a big mullet or whatever have you. But, I mean, snook, you know. Who's Libby? Is that a relative of yours? No. Um, we, have caught, uh, we have caught tarpon from shore several times. Yeah. Um, we caught a bunch of little tarpon in the canal in the Florida Keys. Yeah, we caught, you know, we've caught a lot of tarpon. When is the best time for tuna in South Florida? And it's not a really big tuna fishery. You know, you're mostly going to get small ones in the spring, almost any time, really. But, you know, it's, we don't we don't have tuna like blue fins or yellow fins. It's, right. it's just not a big tuna fishery. Right. And bunker. Yes, we do have bunker down here as bait. Depends on the time of the year. It seems to be the winter they're down here. But I have caught Mondo Giant Bunker down here in my cast nets. Like, loaded to the cast net to the point where I couldn't pick it up and bring it in the boat. It was that full of bunker. Um, they just don't live very well in my live well. They're not very good. No, they're not a hardy bait. I just put them in There's there and not. they die. Yeah. You know, up, so. up north, you snag them and then you throw them right back out. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people are asking about mullet. We have done a mullet catch clean cook, y'all. They're very, very good to eat. Yeah. Just typed our sizzle mullet and that video will pop up. And we smoked it and it was amazing. Very good. I butterflied it from the inside out, took all the bones out, and it was freaking really good. So we're going to do that video again now with the mullet right. run. She has yeah. caught a bonefish on a fly rod. Like I, I said, you said a couple times, just... Google that stuff up, guys. Darcizzle bonefish, Darcizzle redfish, Darcizzle blah, blah, blah. It'll be there. Thank you very much, Giovanna. Well, there's a big difference between Florida lobster and Maine lobster. You can actually just Google it for one. But the claws, the Maine lobster have these giant forward claws that stick out. And our spiny Florida lobster down here do not have claws. Zero you, claws. You can just grab them with your hands. So big difference. And I think the taste of spiny That's Florida true. lobsters are better. But a lot of people will argue against that and say the Maine lobsters are better. So... I can judge this being that I've had both. And I've had both. I don't know. Yes, but I I'm like more spiny. of an expert. You like you like spiny, like everything Florida. If it has to do with Florida, she loves it. And her dad. Which is fine. I don't know. They don't, you know. I think the tails taste about the same. The spinies are a little maybe denser. And of course they don't have claws. Claws are delicious. Uh Darcy I saw someone ask about cast nets, and we have a code for that. Yeah. Darcy's um Darcy's code for black black pearl cast nets, right there. Does sizzle ten for ten bucks off, and the go to is you know depends on what you're trying to catch, you know. But here it's eight foot and three eighths the black mesh. Pearl. Black pearl cast nets. I wonder who made that imagery there. It's, they didn't do a yeah, very good job. Yeah, I don't know job. why he did it like that. I don't know. I didn't realize how big my head was going to be. Um, uh, Liberty, we have a ton of black tip shark videos. I'm all about that. Uh, check them out. Fishing with Essex, we're the OG couple. Thank you so much. Um, I guess we're going to probably sign off here. Been on an hour yeah. and 15 minutes. Yeah, it's been a long we time. we got to eat dinner. Yeah. Darcy started fishing when she was three with her dad in Homestead. Yes. Oh, you brought a black pearl. Awesome, Tom. Scott, oh, great thanks, to hear. Scott. We appreciate it. They're really awesome. You'll know. They're good you, nuts. Yeah. You'll, know, you'll notice it over time. It doesn't get tangled barely, hardly ever, and it's just super quiet on your boat. They work great. Flounder, yes, I need to do a flounder cast clean cook. I totally agree. We're doing that. Yeah, we got to do that. Winter. I think we tried. I don't know if we did fluke or not. And Kenny says, no. do we actually sell fishing tackle on the Amazon? I mean, she has yeah. an Amazon store. Right. It's Amazon. Type the uh, Amazon store. Type it in. Get it from a video or. I get it. Right. I can just do it right here. Anyway, and she has all our favorite fishing tackle and cooking tackle and everything else is yeah. on the Amazon store. Yeah. It's in the Amazon store, and you can. Yeah, just put it in real quick before we sign off. Oh, it's shop. There it is. And. Uh, all our favorite stuff is on there. Yeah. You're going to have to scroll down when Brian posts this link here for y'all. Scroll down, and I have different categories for different types of fishing on, on what it might be. But all my knives are there, my favorite fillet knives, um, my favorite trolling lures, my favorite um, 
what is, what is it? Oh, yeah, cooking with put-in stuff, stuff land shark products, land shark lager, spinning reels, pompano gear, fishing boots, all that good stuff is there. Yeah, all the stuff, the knife shop. Soft plastics boots, I love. Soft, all my camera yeah. gear is on there. Yeah. Coolers. Yeah. Stone crab traps. The list goes on and on. Reels, bass fishing, all that stuff. Yeah. All right, so we're going to sign off. I want to say, everyone say thank you very much to Stanley Orchard. He has a YouTube channel. Stanley, throw it up there. Um, he's been moderating and doing a great job for us, and he's one of our great Twitter friends, so really appreciate it. Uh, him and his family uh, go fishing, and they're in Texas, and they have a great time. Stanley, feel free to throw that up there. And um, that's it. We're going to sign off. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you all who donated to this live chat. We really do appreciate it. As always, you know, to keep saying it over and over, but it's true. We really do. And every every, every other one of you, y'all, that are here, and we had a great time. So we hope to do yeah, this Yeah, I really, again. I love these things. Yeah, we hope to do it again real soon. Um, and when we do this next time, hopefully I have a huge announcement for y'all <laughs> regarding <laughs> the stuff we just talked about, calendars and cookbooks and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll do that again real soon. Yeah. Worked okay. out really great. And we'll probably do a giveaway as well next time. Ooh. We'll probably give away like maybe a fishing reel or a t-shirt or something cool. We got so much stuff to give away. It's insane. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. And stay tuned for Thursday's video coming out. Of course, same time as always, 6 p.m. Oh. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, my goodness. Thank Jason you, Jason. Jason came in with a little donation there. Thank you so much, Jason. For your informative post. You guys are the reason I have a Google account. Enjoy the salty, <laughs> great more. Thanks again. Oh, thank it. you, Kenny. Thank Email you us so and we'll much. Send you out something. Yes, Kenny, so much, Kenny. And, and what was his name? Kenny and Jason. Jason Fulton. Please email me and I will send you something as a thank you. Really do appreciate it. Seriously, <laughs> yeah. though. Email me. Yeah, very nice. All right. Very cool, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We had a lot of fun, like we said. And, and we'll see you on Thursday. That's 6 not how you end the video. I will see you on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Channel Time. And until then, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. <laughs> <laughs> and.